Hey everyone, I am back and after giving myself a facelift with just one product, our um, concealer, perfecting concealer, uh, see my previous video on how to have a facelift with one product. Uh, now I want to show the difference in, again, placement of your products. So we're going to talk about contouring and blush right now and we're going to uh, compare two different techniques. Again, remember, as I said, as we age, we need to change our placement of our makeup. We don't fully gotta change our makeup because I mean, we love our makeup and we love our colors and our products. We just need to tweak where we're putting them on our face to get our desired look. So let's take I have my palette here, my contour, my highlight, and my couple of cheek colors. I'm, I'm always mixing up my cheek colors, just depending on my mood and all of that. Uh, so traditionally, when I first started contouring and bronzing, I wasn't sure where my placement would be. I would do this. So in this indentation right here, taking my contour. Again, this is our three in one cheek brush so it's a contour you take put your contouring powder right here on that lower part of the brush okay we'll contour like so and And a little to the side of the nose. Really, we're creating shadows on the face with a contour contour powder. Okay. So normally I would do that, and then I would take my the middle part of the brush. Arthur again, three and one. The middle is for blush, and I would take my blush, put it right here on the apple of my cheek. You know, that's that's how I was taught to do blush, right there on the apple. Okay. So we got our contour, blush, and then highlighter. So the top part of the brush, highlighting going just along the top, right there. Okay. Not bad. Now we're gonna try a little bit different technique uh, just with our placement, same three products. I'm just gonna take my contouring powder and instead of going in this line, I'm gonna go just above it. So I'm going higher. Starting up at the hairline just kind of working it down. Now, instantly, when you look at my face, which side looks more defined and lifted? This one, look at my cheekbone. Cheekbones up here, looks like a sculpting coming through here versus this where it almost looks messy. Everything's blended in the one spot. Now, this this was this was a great placement on me a while ago. A while ago, but now, okay, let's keep her going. So we're just gonna keep a little bit more effect so we can see it on the video here. Okay, so again gonna continue on just with the top for consistency and a little bit and that little bit on the side of the nose there. So there we go. Now we're going to take cheek color and instead of going here to the apple, going to go up just a little bit above the contour and not going to come right down to where it was. Just going to do this and pull up because we're looking for lift, right? Which side of my face looks more lifted? I still got a color. I still got I still got color to my cheeks. 
But look at the cleanness of this compared to over here. This is like a patch. Whereas this is definition, warmth, and I'm gonna take my highlighting powder and bring it up higher again. And just barely, you know, just along the side of your eye and up. And then you can certainly highlight other areas of your face, wherever you want that light to show. But here we go. So I'm gonna try to just stay still and look in the mirror, look right in the camera, which side looks more defined and um, more lifted. So there you go, same three products, same brush, just a little alteration in our placement. We just brought everything up a little higher. So I hope that you found that helpful. And uh, of course, go practice. And if you don't have a contour powder and a cheek color and a highlighter in your makeup bag, now's a good time to get one. They fit beautiful right here into our perfect palette. And if you don't want to have two cheek colors like me, you can swap out one of these for three eyeshadows. Then you got your full look right there in your compact.